Welcome to Arsenal, Ricardo Calafiori. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Ricardo Calafiori has officially signed for Arsenal. And Arsenal have gotten the signing of Ricardo Calafiori over the line, ladies and gentlemen. This is our first major, major signing of the summer. And if you guys don't know, Ricardo is an Italian international who played in the Serie A for Bologna. We we got the 22-year-old after his team exited the Euros, of course, uh, where he was playing as a starting left-back for Italy. Uh, Ricardo Calafiori, if you don't know, started his career at Roma. It, he played, he's played. he been developed there for 12 years before he got into the first team. He then went on a successive amount of loans before going at Genoa, where he broke out uh, over there in Genoa. And then, of course, went to Basel, where he had another breakout season. And then now over at Bologna, where we spotted him. Now, one thing you guys need to know is Calafiori will be wearing the number 33 shirt. Yes, Ricardo Calafiori will be wearing the number 33 shirt for Arsenal. And I'm quite excited about this. We have fully just said, you know what, we have a situation at left back. We need to address it. And we have gone and done that. And this is what Edu had to say about uh, Edu had to say about the signing. As as we do, we do hear from the director and Mikel Arteta, Edu said, it, is, it has been a great team effort uh, in completing this transfer. We welcome Ricardo Calafiri to, uh, Ricardo to the family. Uh, we identified Ricardo as a part of our strategy to sign players who fit our profile and willing to re reinforce the squad uh, at the, at the highest level. He is 22 years old and brings qualities and experience. We will uh, quickly grow into, he will quickly grow into uh, being an Arsenal player. And of course, Ricardo Calafiori is now with the Arsenal team. There was a video done where he is now with the Arsenal team in training. And yeah, that is wonderful to see. There's It's like a 50 second video. I don't want to play it just due to copyright. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to get copyright or not, but I just want to avoid it. Mikel Arteta, of course, welcoming him, saying he's going to huge strength and reinforcements to our defense. And of course, speaking about his qualities and everything else. He met up with the team over in Philadelphia. He's going to wear the number 33 shirt, and this is massive. Now, I just want to give you guys 15 facts you need to, you need to know about Ricardo Calafiori. First things first, Ricardo Calafiori's hometown hero is none other than who? What, one second, Ricardo Calafiori's hometown. He's a hometown hero. He was born in Ro he was born in Rome, and he's a, he's going to be a hometown hero now. Big up to him. Uh, then you then you go then you go to battling back. What is this? He, as a used player from a horrific injury in the age of 16, and he had to battle back from that. That's crazy. He tore every ligament in his left knee. Damn, that's not good. Making an impact. He made an impact uh, from a young age. Interesting. And he, and, you, and he helped the team get to, oh, wow. He helped the team, he helped the team when he was quite young, get pretty far. Interesting. Um, also, he had a good journey over there in the Swiss with Basel. He then, of course, went from Basel all the way to Bologna. And at Bologna was his real breakout where he became thing. His iconic friends. Who's his iconic friends? Oh, no way. He, his friends are uh, De Rossi and, and uh, 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 Totti. That's crazy. He's got an international call-ups. He played well at the Euros. Uh, Mr. Assist, interesting. They call him Mr. Assist. Why do they call him Mr. Mr. Assist? Wow, he had 17 goal created chances at a, as a as a centre back slash left left back. What's next? Let's find out. People call him the people. <laughs> people already comparing him to Maldini. That's crazy. That's crazy. If you actually check that out, there's people already comparing him to Maldini. English inspired. Interesting. Ricardo Calafiori, however, the model uh, is very different, being he tends to push forward into midfield and link the defense with the attack. Hmm. When previously asked which player uh, he wants to be compared to, he said John Stones. Uh, his style is close to mine, and it's not off the cuff when I go into the midfield, it's following guidance from my coach. Interesting. And also he's previously uh, he's previously played with Jorginho, uh, Bologna brothers. 
Okay. He's a family man. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But guys, I'm quite excited about this transfer. And the main reason why I'm excited about this transfer, we have just gotten one of the most sought after left backs slash center backs slash left footed players in, in Europe. We got ourselves who we wanted. This was the man that we wanted. This was the player we were looking at. Mikel Arteta getting his first major signing over the line. And in the same day that we hear about potential news of Emil Smith Rowe being sold, the same day we hear about news that we might be getting Mikel Moreno, the transfer window has just started to make action for Arsenal. And guys, don't lose your heads until the transfer window is over, or else you're going to start to look very, very silly. Arsenal have gotten themselves one major big cog, and Arsenal confirming the signing of the highly rated Euro Italian star is just one of many to come. I am I am quite excited about how good our one of our best uh, one of our best defensive seasons in, in the club's history. And first thing we do is to further strengthen that defense. We are looking to go from strength to strength defensively and to become one of the best teams defensively. This could be a statement of intent to some of the teams in the Premier League looking around, not making moves like Man City, like Liverpool. And guys, we did it for a decent fee too. We did it for a really decent fee. I think the total fee is around 42 million. But if you exclude add-ons, it's a lot lower than that. So we did, we did get ourselves a really good deal. Overall, I'm quite excited about the possibility of seeing Calafuri um with with De uh, with with uh Saliba, Gabriel and Ben White. That's gonna be the back four that I think I'm gonna be seeing a lot next season. But I wouldn't even be surprised if Calafuri doesn't start right away and, and Arteta eases him in. He did get a five year deal also. Calafuri did also join on a five year deal. I'm not exactly sure how much wages he's getting per week, but at this moment in time, does that really matter? We I expect him to be a starter and I expect him to get paid like one. So once once we figure out once we figure out what every what what's happening throughout the season, it's gonna be interesting. Who's gonna who's gonna miss out? Is there gonna be days where Ricardo Calafieri doesn't start and we play with uh Timber as left back? Is there days where we play with Timber at center back and, and Saliba comes out? Is there days that Calafieri plays as center back and Gabriel Magales comes out? This gives us so much versatility in the back line. Mikel Arceta is gonna have himself a wonderful time with the amount of versatility he now has defensively. And I really do believe Calafuri is going to be that guy, that left-footed, left-sided centre-back slash, uh, what do you call it, left-back, that's just going to absolutely change our change our defence, change our attack. And he, he does have an eye for goal as much as he's a 1v1 dual monster. And yeah, the height that we've, uh, we keep adding height to this team. It's beautiful. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll do a welcome video for every single player that joins Arsenal just to give you guys a little understanding of what they are and who they are. And yeah, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'm out. We will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.